It's time now to answer some of your business questions. Stella and Mike are here with us once again. The first question is about high-end retailers. I want to put my bags in high-end retails like Neiman Marcus. What would be my strategy as a small business and home business to go that far? It's a good question. We're talking about getting, getting your brand in a bigger brand store. So how do you do it? You, you have to know what they represent as an entity, as an identity. Mm -hmm. So when you bring your purse line in or your bag line, you have to show that it complements their identity. And then you've got to hustle. You can do trunk shows. Trunk shows is where you bring your products in, and you're selling almost on consignment in their stores to prove it can work in their stores, and then you can get the big buy. Right, you really want to be in line with the customers that they're attracting, mm -hmm. and you want to make sure that your brand as is on your website really reflects their demographic and their psychographic. You want to make sure that the pricing on your website makes sense for the retailer that you're about to enter, because if they're going to be selling their bags in their stores, does your price point match up with theirs? Is it lower? Are they going to be competing with you? So you want to make sure that you're prepared uh, to let them have the spotlight in terms of selling your product. Does the idea that it's a home business, is that... I wouldn't describe it as a home business. Right. I would describe it as a boutique, um, as you know, a one of a kind, handmade. I wouldn't right. say home. I right. have a sharp looking website though. Right. A good looking website should represent you. Right. Okay, great. Let's move on to the next question. It's about getting investors. For a young entrepreneur, how at what point do you decide whether you should bootstrap, uh, seek out uh, a venture capitalist or an angel investor? Bootstrap. <laughs> That's my answer. What about you guys? Oh, I'm, I'm all about the bootstrapping. But I would, first, many people think they need money, they need investors, but then ask the question, like, how much do you need? What do you need it for? How long do you need until you actually need it? So really try to stretch out the amount of time that you're producing your own product, you're creating it yourself. That builds equity in your company, and that impresses investors once you get to the point that you really need them. Yeah, I won't say just bootstrap. Freaking bootstrap. <laughs> because it forces well, discipline. Yeah. Yes. But it forces discipline. It means you have to form a good, strong, yeah. solid business on the few pennies you have. That's a business that ultimately investors will want. Right. So bootstrap, bootstrap, bootstrap. And let them come to you later down the road. Yeah. Constraints build creativity. You will be yes. surprised at the solutions you think of when you don't have the money. That is so true. We were just talking about this. I've said it on the show before, but I worked in a company in the late 90s. It was an internet company, venture funded, and everywhere around me, people were spending so much money on wasteful stuff because we all had it. Mm -hmm. You know, and then the bubble crash, and then suddenly you get really creative marketing campaigns that yep. cost almost nothing. All right, great. Thank you so much, you guys, for all this advice. It was fantastic, yes. as always. And if any of you out there have a question for our experts, all you have to do is go to our website. The address is openforum.com slash yourbusiness. There, just hit the Ask the Show link to submit a question for our panel. Again, the website is openforum.com slash yourbusiness. Or if you'd rather, you can email us your questions and your comments. The address is yourbusiness at MS. SNBC.com.